Hello, my lovelies. This is Jan and Jammies. I've had a few requests for a making of video of this piece, so here you go. I hope you enjoy it. The first thing we need is something to make the piece on. I chose MDF board. If you don't have an MDF board, you can also use clear packaging tape. One thing to warn about is that this is more flexible and it can cause the piece you're making to warp. Plexiglass also makes a really good option. The only one I had on hand was pretty thin, so I opted to use MDF. First, you're gonna to wanna to print out the flag that you want to make. I chose the Daniel Quasar flag, but this would work for any of the sexuality specific flags too. Cut the flag out. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is just gonna be a guide for where to put the wire later. One quick note, for a keychain size on this particular flag, I wouldn't go any smaller than one and a half by about two inches. The diamond parts just get too narrow and the resin has trouble filling it completely. Next, you're gonna need double-sided tape. This is a roll of four inch wide I found that works pretty well. Put your cutout flags face down on the sticky tape. Remember to completely smooth out the template when you're attaching it. Any dents or lumps on this side will show up in the final piece. Take your double-sided tape with the templates and attach it to the MDF. Smooth it carefully to avoid any lumps and bumps, but also to make sure that it's really well attached so it doesn't pull away while you're working on it. Carefully peel away the backing on the double-sided tape. We'll be using 18 gauge copper wire for the outside of the keychain. Carefully line up and cut the four pieces of wire for the outside edges. Remember to use your flush cutter so that the edges stay flat. I find it easiest to do the top and bottom first, then intentionally overshoot the sides and trim them up once they're off the spool. It wastes a little bit of wire, but it makes it a lot easier to trim them to the correct size. We'll use 20 gauge wire for the inside lines of the flag. Remove the outside wire for better access to the inside of the flag. Carefully place the 20 gauge wire on the dividing lines between the colors. Put the wire back in place, and then go ahead and repeat this process for the other three sides. We'll use UV resin for this next part. UV resin means some kind of UV light for curing. UV light can be damaging to your eyes. Do yourself a favor and get UV resistant glasses. Remember to wear the correct equipment when working with resin. Cloth masks are not enough. You need to wear a ventilation mask. Use a small dab of UV resin to tack down each of the joints. Put under the UV light for 60 seconds to cure. Brush a thin layer of clear UV resin over the whole piece. This is to prevent the individual colors from leaking under the wires and mixing together. Put under the UV light for 60 seconds to cure. We'll use alcohol inks to color the resin for each section. Just remember that the colors you use may not match mine exactly. You'll want to give the resin 30 to 60 seconds between colors. This cures the resin enough to prevent the colors from mixing.
Cure for 120 seconds. Flood the top with clear UV resin and use the back of a paintbrush to evenly distribute it. Cure for 120 seconds. Remove from the double-sided tape. Alcohol swabs can be used to remove any sticky residue left over. Repeat the process of flooding with clear resin on the back. I'm 100% reusing this footage. I forgot to record this part. And here it is all finished. I'll add some glamour shots at the end, but you'll be able to find them on my Instagram too. Let me know if there's something else you'd like to see, and subscribe to see more!